Unless it has another name. I think that's the only name for it. Just gonna put it on. Was that some chocolate? Chocolate's my favorite, folks. I do love some strawberry as well. Cookie dough ice cream. Cookie, oh, I love cookie dough ice cream. Oh. What, what, was he expecting a show there? I'm sorry, play that again, Chris? I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, yeah, I get, okay, well, he was expecting the, the horse and pony show. He didn't get it, he didn't get the smoke and pony <laughs> show. He was waiting for the flips and the doodads and the what, gotcha, the whoop, psych. He's waiting for that. Uh, he never got it, which I was betrayed. Uh, yeah, I guess it's, I don't know, I kind of just wanted ice cream, I just wanted ice cream, so, I, but it would be cool to see at least once the, how good those guys are, it's kind of like the bartending skill, I guess, too, where you flip the bottles around and stuff, I would not be very good at it. I'd come to a bar as a comedian, make you laugh, hopefully the shoes are happening, hopefully my shows are happening soon. First open mic, I'm actually really excited, soon, fingers crossed. Uh, but, I don't, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't think I could do that, I don't, I don't have the finesse, I have about as, just as much finesse as your dad does, and it's probably not a lot. Okay, we got, uh, some balloons, it's a festival, there's, happen there, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, she's taking a picture. Oh, I get you. Now I see it now. Okay. Uh, the lady's at the balloons. She's taking a picture like she has all the balloons, I guess. Goodbye. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. He's just like. Nope, no thanks. And I mean, can we blame him? The guy's just trying to eat and <laughs> someone is turning up right beside him. Man, like, <laughs> I'm working at a place where things like this happen, like I just couldn't imagine. And you're like, trying to like, you have a tray full of drinks, trying to drop them off, you're in the weeds and then there's somebody just doing that who's right in your way. How do you even say, excuse me? Like behind. <laughs> Get a couple of brewski wooskies, brother. Let's go. Oh, you dropped them. Oh, you're letting her go. You're letting her fly. Wearing open toed shoes. Yeah, and there you go. Um, I guess someone might have opened it before or something, but yeah, be careful. I, you know what? I, I hate open toed shoes. You know that? I do. I always wear sneakers, or I also burped when I said that too. I always wear closed toe shoes, or if I do wear open toe shoes, I commit the most heinous crime amongst all footwear. I wear socks and sandals. I do, y'all, I do. Khaki, socks, and sandals, beer's ready to go. That's my summer, baby, what can I say? And a Hawaiian shirt just to make it look good. Right? Right. What? Oh, yeah. You said I could get on if I had a worm. Oh, okay. You guys said I could get on if I had, and they earlier you said I could get on. Paul, is it cool if I come in? Come on, you said I could come on well, earlier. Before, we don't have seats. You said I could, and I just ate a worm and shit. Dude, it's sketchy out here. I don't have to walk back through there. Well, I mean, why'd you come here? I came here to see you guys. You said I could come with you. Damn, you know, I'm kinda, that's sad, man. That's sad. My guy, my guy ate a worm. He just wants to go with uh, with all of his pals, get on the bus, you know? Now he's gonna be left here, look like the only guy out there. And he ate a worm, too. Like, if anybody wanted to hang out with me so much that they ate a little worm in front of me, I'm like, all right, you earned it, dude. Like, what do you wanna do? You wanna go get a drink? All right, let's go get a drink. You ate a worm. So, uh, like, you, all, all, it's on me. That is commitment right there, folks. That is a level of commitment that I am not willing to do, but if you are, then like, good on you. All right, Linda decides to climb shelf instead of asking for help to get something. Let's see what happens, folks. It's probably not gonna be good because, oh no. Why didn't you just ask for help? <laughs> now it's a big mess and now an employee's gonna clean it up. Oh, the worst. I never had, actually, well no, I have actually had experiences like that, except it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like, uh, I guess bottles of liquor, it looks like they're in a liquor store or wine or anything. It was actually a barbecue. You said barbecues down aisle one. And uh, sometimes people try to reach them themselves, but it's like, if you just wait for me and two other burly gentlemen to come down, We'll pull it down for you, but you gotta wait. You just gotta wait a couple minutes. That's it, we'll pull it down. Just wait a minute. Oh, some people that go ahead and wanna break the rules, but there's rules and regulations at the DIY hardware store, just saying. Oh, 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 he, okay, sorry, play that again. He just, he, yeah, and he's, yeah, and he just, yeah, he's just going hard, he's going ham. She doesn't wanna be in the vid. She wants no part of that. Looks like maybe they're at a wedding? I feel That's what it feels like, looks like they're at a wedding. Uh, and they've invited uh, Cousin Terry, even though they didn't want to invite Cousin Terry. Cousin Terry slamming back the uh, mimosas because uh, he's gotta be back for his parole meeting in a couple hours. <laughs> he's slamming them back. That sounds about right to me. She just ruining someone's car? Looks like it. Looks like it. In the rain too, so dramatic. She really feels like she's doing something here. 
and uh, somebody's just catching her on camera committing a crime. I'm sure this changes like based on where you are, like obviously different in Canada versus the States, but like it's probably different from state to state as well. What would like the penalty for something like this be? Would you get a ticket? Do you get arrested for this? Do you have to go to jail for this? Like, I wanna know. I wanna know what the severity of this is. In Canada, it would probably just be a ticket and then you probably like have to pay a lot of money, maybe to the person, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how laws work. <laughs> so I don't know how this works because uh, I'm not gonna go and destroy anyone else's car, especially not in the rain. What can I help you find today? I was looking for don't. a long shank, mullen mount style western fit. How big is the horse's mouth, do you know? There's a lot of buffering in this video. I don't know if it's laggy or something, but I, I, I have a feeling I know where this is going. I'm doing uh, something called pony play, and I'm looking for a authentic prop that I can use that will be play with quality. Okay, so... Hey, I'm not here to king shame. Who am I to judge? It's just, I don't know if that lady gets paid enough for that. I don't know. God bless you, lady. Godspeed. I'm gonna look for a mullen mouth curve that, that is gonna fit you. Correct. Yeah. Well, you know, you came and did a horse store looking for some, you're looking for some belts, some, some horse stuff. I don't know what you call it because I'm not that much of a country guy, but you're looking for horse stuff to, to tie them together and whatnot. There's a nice lady who says, what kind of stuff do you need, lady? And she's like, well, I just need it because, and I knew as soon, as soon as the lady said, well, how, what kind of horse, like how big is the mouth, what kind of, and she went full, just like, well, it's, it's actually for me. And I, you know, I knew that was going to happen, man. It's so funny. Oh, we got the Turkish ice cream. Yep, this is classic. Yep, trying to, oh, nope, you're not gonna get it. Hey, there it is. Nope, nope, you're not gonna get it. I hear, I hear it's really good. Oh, he's, oh, he's got something going on, though. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, the prank's over! He got all the ice cream! Uh-oh! Yeah, it's supposed to be like a whole, like, uh, trick and pony show with your ice cream. Yeah, where it's gonna happen again. You're there flipping around, bada bing, bada boom. And then you finally get your ice cream, and I, I hear it's pretty good, actually. So here, here we go again. Here's another example. Let's see it, the Turkish ice cream. Okay, oh, spray like water on right? their hair yeah. without stopping. Okay. Oh, okay, this, this should be good. Let's see this. He's just gonna soak him. He's just gonna soak him. Let's just dump it on him. Oh, All right, bro. That's enough water. Right, I'm just trying to get this one here right here. Right. Cool. Damn, he's got a really steady stream on that. You got it yet? Oh, brother, so soaking. Way. He's soaking, brother. Oh my Watch God. Too, Too much, much homie. Give me a shower, bro. Yeah, yeah, hold on, man. Hold on. I think it's the right amount. Yeah, I, I bet. Right, my bad, my bad. You said finger length, right? Yeah, finger length. How do you keep it? Damn, bro, it's hella wet. My bad, bro. I think it's the right amount of wet, though. A little too much. That's a harmless prank. Oh, that one's okay. As long as they're harmless, I like them. You know, if it's, if it's not too heinous, I'm there for I like it. But, uh, you know, people get hurt and stuff, I'm not a fan. Okay, we got some pretty girls sitting by a pool or something. Let's get it. I don't, I don't know what's happening there. It looks like there's somebody singing a Taylor Swift song that was popular when I was in high school. On the cool hard ground. Oh, oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. -E 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 -E. What's uh? And there's a there's a teenage girl who's not really enjoying it. And I, I'm confused. I don't understand that one. Okay, buddy, we got the it was a cheese, the cheese, buddy, cheese. Or something. That's gotta be cheese. That's that's it. Oh, wait for it. Boom! Drop a sauce, baby. Bada boom. Eighty-five dollars, please. That's fine dining, baby. Where's the lamb sauce? Uh, yeah, that's fine dining. That's how it goes. I, for one, like to go to places where I can feel my big tummy, my big, big tummy. All you can eat buffet, sign me <laughs> and the rest of America up. That, while it probably is delicious, I, I can't deny it's probably good tasting. Uh, the portions, not enough for a big lad such as myself. And, and it's not just me because I'm a big guy. There's definitely other skinnier folk who are like, no, it's not enough either. So, yeah, absolutely.
Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Ah. Ah. I hit. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know that's so. It's just so awkward, and it's just. It's like. Oh, uh, you already know that the, the my and like the mo like the despair on his face after like the like that look of defeat where it's like. All right. That was the one and only date. Good to know. You know, at least it's good to know. At least it's good to know. Like, you get a good night kiss, and like, that is the one and only date. You're probably like, gonna be thinking, great, like, that was awesome. You know, like, when's date number two? At least now, you know for sure there is no date number two. Still super embarrassing, though. Oh. What? Where did they find this on the internet, man? Where was this found? The commentators, the commentators, like, oi, 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 like, like the fact that they're like, like judging this, and then like when one kid popped off, they're like, wow, like he really popped off there, and like they're just full on fortniting it up, man. Like, oh my gosh, where on earth did you find this on the internet? And who organized this? This looks like it would take hundreds of thousand dollars to organize, like. Who did this? Yeah, we're drinking. Ah, uh, he showed her something on the phone and it's like, please help me. Get me away from him, please. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. You know, some girls wanna go and have a couple drinks and that's it. No, you don't want No guys tonight, no guys tonight. Just none, no guys. And I don't blame you. I, you know, so I, sometimes I just wanna go for, for a drink without that that would never happen to me, but still, you know, just wanna go for a little bit of Jaeger, a little bit of Jaegermeister, a little bit of a little bit of whatever's on tap. I drink anything but Sambuca. I don't like Sambuca, so man, Sambuca's out. Give it up for Jabuz! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, like, what? <laughs> Aren't you excited to be here, bro? It's like, give it up, for the boss. This guy's like, yeah, I'm here. It's time to go play some games, I guess. I'm gonna go. And it's like, he's walking so slow, too. Like, dude, like, you're dragging this out for a minute, my guy. Just get there. Play your games if that's what you want to do. But, like, we, we don't need to drag this on. That's funny, though. I like that. M dies back for another year. Great deals and entertainment on the day, including five hundred dollars free accessories, <laughs> three years free servicing, five years roadside assist, five year unlimited kilometre factory warranty, breakfast barbecue to get the day started, the power station to get your coffee fix, and a food truck to keep the party going. Come down this Saturday for the M Day main event. All these deals jam packed into one massive day here at Grand Prix Maseras. How have I never seen that before? How have I never seen that before? Chris, have you ever seen that one? I, like, what? Where was this all my life? Where was this all my life? And why, why do we, like, cause clearly, like, I, I got an Australian accent right there. Why are we not having this uh, in Canada? Where are these? Uh, I would go, like, I'm like, yeah, let me go buy this car. I wanna meet these people, I wanna shake their hand and be like, wow, like, you did this, good. You know, I, I wouldn't, but like, Good on you for doing this and, and, and gifting the internet this. That is gonna live rent free in my brain forever. I'm gonna pull that out at the next uh, social gathering I'm at, guys. I'm definitely gonna pull that out. The Karen is absolutely screaming at somebody to stop filming them. Um, Karen, the moment you stop screaming, I'll probably stop filming you. It's like a 
two-way street here. You do something for me, I'll do something for you. I'm not gonna stop filming you when you're absolutely shrieking in a Home Depot, cause it's so unbelievable. Why at Home Depot? What's in Home Depot that needs to be screamed about? Just got a couple questions. Karen's really upset about some plywood, apparently. Damage done, grenade, and a great follow-up from Neo with a quad kill here. Four rounds in a row. Oh! oh. Denied. You hate to see that. You really don't like it at all. What? Well, she... She turned around like it was, she was like, okay, this is happening. And then like fully dropped out at the last second. I, I, I kind of feel for my duty. You're like, I would I would probably think the same thing. I'm like, all right, I guess, you know, it's happening now. And she's like, no, like what did, what, was it a hug? Were you going for a hug? Damn, that is, yeah, that is, I, I am, I'm embarrassed for the entire scenario about that. That is too bad. You climb over? Yeah. Are you recording me? You trying to break into my house? No, I was sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Yeah. All right. How many more guys you have? Huh? Wait, what? You climb over. I don't know how I even got here. Okay, can you open this one? No, you climb over. You're going to climb over. If you do record me and I see you on Facebook, I'm going to see you guys. All right, see you guys later. Okay, I've never seen that one before. Like, it feels so genuine, but at the same point, I'm like, it's so ridiculous that it also feels staged. And my dude came up with sleepwalking. If you are actually capable of, of sleepwalking to the point where you're climbing over like walls and, and this high, you need to go see somebody about that, dude. Like that is, that is dangerous to society. I want my whopper. Hey, whoa, okay, then the ice cream is ruined. I never had BK ice cream before, is that any good? Or is it like a McDonald's thing where it's just like, I'm sorry, but the uh, the ice cream machine is uh, out of service. <laughs> and it's always out of service. Um, I've never had that before. I guess I've seen that prank before, it's kind of funny, it's all right. I don't like being sticky, I don't like being dirty. Surprise, you think, for me, you think the opposite, but I actually don't, I actually like saying, Pretty non stickalicious and stickalicious? That's a word. That's a word I just invented. Stickalicious. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. My mom would be like, What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in, my, in my dude's defense, like he didn't even lay it down hard. Like it looked like that class was just like, it was at the end of its life. You know, it had decided today was the day. It was all gonna end right now, today, at this table. There's not like, doesn't matter how you put me down, I am going to break. And honestly, like the people were like, she was even clapping at the end. She was like, hey, nice job. So, sucks for the person who got water all over them. But I mean, you know, the glass had decided it was the fate. Aaron, kiss Andy on the lips for 20 bucks. This, this guy will actually give you 20 bucks. No, it, I, it's not. I can't do that. He'll legit give you I'm, 20 bucks. I'm not a... a... No. Um, you know what people will say? They will be happy. Hey, oh, wait, I'm not even lying. I'm being like 100% with you. Well? <laughs> and he will, this, I know yeah, this guy. Yeah. He, like last time he told me to do yeah. this, he yeah. actually gave me like 100 okay. bucks. So like, yeah. you're not lying. Bro. I, just, I could I just give it to you right now. I could just send it to you on PayPal. <laughs> you legit I'm, I'm not lying. Wow, Andy was pulling for it, man. Andy was straight up pulling for it. Here, yo, uh, conspiracy theory right now. Andy was the person who donated two dollars, saying to get twenty bucks. G get, like that's my conspiracy theory. It's like Andy straight up did that, and then he was pulling for it, man. Damn, I, I don't think it's gonna happen, big dog. I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. I think it's it's just gonna be a flat no. That sucks. cringy freakouts. This is the weirdest video I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the girl in the back looks like Snooki when she like has too much wine, you know? <laughs> she tries to get up, just immediately eats 
That's so funny. I don't even know what they're fighting about and quite frankly, I don't care. This is a freak out I can get behind. Oh my gosh, I need context. I mean, I assume that's a father and son, but like, was this a, I mean, it had to have been some kind of a punishment, but for what? I need to know. I need more context. You need like the description of this video, you know? Because okay. like, Selena Gomez said that she wants to cut your hair. Yeah. Did you hear that? I, I didn't hear that, but. What do you think of it? Sounds like something she said. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a classic. What an absolute classic. You know, I'm, I'm happy. First off, I, I'm happy that uh, the Bieber doesn't, uh, doesn't rock that hair anymore. I think he looks way better with what he's got going on right now, but wow, what a classic. I like that laugh. Damn, yeah, no, just honestly, respect, Bieber, respect. The silence is so loud in this video. Oh. <laughs> oh no, oh no, and then the crickets at the end. I mean, listen, she's really just doing her best. <laughs> oh no, it's so awkward, it's so awkward. One chicken center. One brat, two, two brat Two, two bratwurst, one chicken basket, and one pretzel. Okay, I get it. He just left because, I mean, she threw like a $20 beer at him. If this is at the concert, those beers are expensive. Well, I don't know, maybe not in America, but here in Canada, be prepared to take out a second mortgage. You want a Molson Canadian <laughs> at the freaking amphitheater. God forbid, could be the same in America, could be the same in Chicago, who knows? But here, that beer would be expensive. But yeah, you know what? I don't know what happened, but it seems like maybe he called her a and she said, not today. And I respect that. Come on now. You, you guys. Oh, it's buffering, there we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, was a single, what is that, a peanut, a garlic? What is that, I can't even tell what it is. I mean, yeah, I guess it's funny, yeah, but it's just. Really, you're really gonna do that? I guess that, that one's harmful though. That one, that, or sorry, not harmful, that one's harmless. That one's harmless, that one's harmless, who cares? It's all right, it's funny, but you know. Then he probably shouldn't be committing crimes. Listen, you should not run after the car and jump in the back, okay? I agree that that is not good behavior and you shouldn't do that. I do think that you should have, you know, if you had time to run and jump in the back, you probably had time to like remember their license plate or like take a photo of it or something, you know what I mean? Like that would be a better course of action. But also, if you're gonna be like, I'm a military police officer, then you should probably know that hit and runs are illegal. Make that make sense. You should not hit somebody's car and then drive away either. Make the world and yourselves happier. Kiss him, Tiara. You have the long neck and it's 2019. Make the move. Oh, oh yeah. 
it's another one of those. It's another one of those. You know, it's like put in a situation and we just don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. Guy. Ugh. Damn, you know, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, I also, I don't love that too. It's like getting a donation and it's like, kiss him. And I'm just like, why'd you have to put me in this situation? Like, thank you for donating. But at the same point, I'm like, this is not really like, you can't pay me $5 and tell me to kiss somebody and expect me to do it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, just, yeah, it's all awkward. It's all awkward. And like the faces too, like when they looked at each other, didn't like it, didn't like it. Cringe. So we told our waitress to embarrass our friend however she could, and this right. is what happened. Got some dessert here for you. Heard it's a special evening. All right. Attention, Texas Roadhouse! I've got a special guest over here. He just found out he's gonna be a father tonight. Let's do it! Congrats, buddy. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny. That probably made the server tonight. I love just doing little things like that. You know, well, I love when like tables like involve me and things like that. I think that's so funny. A couple weeks ago, there was this like one table, it was like a table of girls. And then they were like, that guy's like kind of cute. Like we've been kind of like eyeing each other up like at another table. And she's like, if I wrote my number down, like would you give it to him? And I was like, 100%, I am so here for this. So she wrote her little number down. I like gave it. I was like, only if you want to take it, like blah, blah, blah. Like don't want to make you uncomfortable. So listen, if you say no, it ends here. And then he was like, yeah, please, blah, 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 whatever. And then before they left, they like started chatting. So, I mean, I don't know what happened, but hopefully it was good. Who knows? Maybe they'll come back one day and update me. But like long story long, I just love when people involve me. It makes my job a lot more fun.